got uh, we got we got the meeting coming up here soon for our house. It is a pre-construction meeting, so we should be breaking ground here real soon. Get in this house, get the ball rolling. I am so excited to finally have a house and uh, not have to live in my in-laws' basement. Uh, love my in-laws, but I don't want to live in their basement anymore. Uh, it's gonna be great. I cannot wait to get into this freaking house. Now, I don't know when this video is gonna be going up. Uh, I know it's gonna be after we have our pre-construction meeting, because uh, that is tomorrow. And uh, so, yeah, tomorrow, probably by the time this is going up, it's probably already gonna have been like, I don't know, a week. You know, I don't really have anything to talk about today specifically, really. I'm just, I'm going to the gym. It is such a nice day. It's a Monday. It's so freaking nice out. What is it, 69 degrees? Nice. <laughs> nice. I do know that uh, I'm going to be going back to work probably Wednesday. So I'm finally getting off disability. This has been such a pain. And I'm finally out of it. Hey, that guy's hauling trailers. Is that a, is that the same is that the same company I work for? No, it's not. I haul trailers, and I take them to I take them to dealerships and stuff like that. And I just saw another guy with a with a with a flatbed trailer with small little trailers on it. So I was like, hey, I wonder if he's one of our guys. I'll swing in and say howdy because I might know him. But it wasn't. You know, we're not like the only company that hauls for them. There's, you know, other companies that come through and also pick up. Mainly, I think, owner-operators. I think that's pretty much it. It's just like other, like, owner-operators will come in. I don't think there's actually any other, like, larger companies that are picking up from them except for us. But, yep, yeah, I'm going to be going back to going back to that job here real soon. And I'm ready to get back. Because I'm getting really bored just sitting at home, but also at the same time, uh, I don't want to go back. Because now that it's like, oh, okay, I can see and I can get around now. Now it's like, oh, I don't want to go back because now I can do whatever I want. Whereas before, I couldn't really go outside all that much because uh, of the dilation in my eyes. I could get on my bike and kind of ride around because the tinted visor, but it was still like really, really bright even with this really dark tinted visor. Man, this guy's going so freaking slow. I mean, I get it, he's a semi, but dude, my freaking truck takes off faster than that. Man, it is such a freaking nice day. Say so yesterday was really like our first really nice day of the year, and today is just as nice as yesterday. Got two good days in a row, and I'm off work. This is great. Don't get much better than this. Hey, I'm going to go and get my workout on for the day. I think I'm going to wash my bike today. You know what? This is going to be the first time I've washed it. I think I'm going to wash it today. It's only been like a year. It definitely needs it. No other bikes out here today. It's too nice not to ride a bike. Everyone just get a bike and ride. Also, you know how many parking spots we would say? You could fit like four bikes in a spot. If you don't own a bike, you're a loser. If you're trying to get a bike, you're almost cool. Ah, not even at the gym, I'm already sweaty. Or not even in the gym, I'm already sweaty. Kind of a long workout today. I think I was there for like two hours. So usually anymore, I'm going for like hour, hour and a half. Uh, I should probably start going for a little longer again. But uh, yeah, of course, while I was there, our our person we've been working with for uh, for uh, the house bill emailed me and was like, "Hey, can you come in earlier tomorrow?" I'm like, "No, I can't come in earlier tomorrow. We got we got stuff going on. It's like we scheduled this, you know, at a certain time, and I wanted to be at that certain time. I made other plans around that. So, you know, it is what it is. But pretty sure we'll be uh, we'll be just fine. I think." I don't know what came up, if something, something must have came up, you know, things happen, but no, I'm not willing to change the time. 
I also really don't want to change the day because I can actually be there for the meeting. It was going to be like my wife was going to go and she was going to be there in person. And then I was going to do virtual because I was probably going to be in my truck. Uh, but I'm off tomorrow. So it just kind of worked out. And uh, yeah, it's like, no, I don't want to change it because I can actually be there tomorrow. Uh, I don't, I don't want to change any of this stuff. We already got the ball rolling on it. We got the plants made. Keep it the same. I'm going to go to Yellow Springs and kind of cruise around. Yellow Springs is kind of cool. I'm going to see if Chappelle's Club is open. I could probably just Google it and see if it's open, but I haven't, and I'm on a bike, so and it's a nice day. So I might as well as just kind of go, go cruise out there on the bike on this nice day and just see if it's open for myself. I'm kind of hungry, though. I don't want to eat because it's like 2, 2.30 or something like that, 2.45. That clock's not right, but I think it's like 2:45. It's like I don't want to eat. I don't know what's for. It's gonna be for dinner tonight, if there's anything. Also, my wife might get mad that I went out and got food without her. She usually doesn't care, uh, but yeah, I'm just in case. You know, she might be hungry, and I'm like, oh, I went out and got food, and she'll be like, why didn't you ask me if I wanted to go? And I'd be like, because you're working and you can't go. And I am on disability until uh, Wednesday, probably. I'm hoping I can go back to work on Wednesday. If not Wednesday, it'll be Friday, because I can't go back Thursday, because I have another doctor's appointment on Thursday, but I will be able to work all of next week, because uh, I don't have any doctor's appointments or anything like that. Uh, and then the following week, I have another doctor's appointment. You know, Young's is up here, Young's Jersey Dairy. I think I've talked about it before, like last year. Uh, I haven't been to Young's in so long. My wife, her mom, and our niece came out here like last weekend, but they like changed all this, like that giant building right there. I don't even know if the camera's picking it up, but that giant building right there is like all new, yeah, that whole thing. That's like all new, so I haven't even seen the inside of that. I have no idea what the inside of that looks like. I know it from the old building that used to be there, and there was like a line wrapping around the store for ice cream, because that's really what they're what they're known for is ice cream. Or at least that's what everyone I know that went to Young's knows them for is their ice cream. I could probably go faster than this. I just kind of set my cruise and just kind of started kicking back. Man, I love this bike. It is so awesome. God, I need to wash it. Oh, I was talking about washing it today. Yeah, I'm gonna go home after this and then I'll wash it. I forgot I said I was gonna wash it earlier. Uh, but yeah, I love this bike. This, this cruise control on this bike is just incredible. I love it. I've never had cruise on a motorcycle before. And it is awesome to have cruise on a motorcycle. You know, it makes like drives like this where you're not like leaned over, where I'm just kind of going for like long straights like this. And I'm not as leaned over, so it doesn't, you know, hurt my wrist and my back and stuff. Yeah, it never really hurt my back though. It was mainly just wrists. Yeah, Yellow Springs is cool. I actually drove out here yesterday and I didn't make a video because I just wanted to enjoy the ride. Um, and dude, it was packed out here there were so many people out here it was crazy i mean cars lined up all over the place on the street sidewalks covered in people tons of motorcycles out here too but not today it's a little chill today Ooh, a vet Ooh, a motorcycle Ooh, more motorcycles tracks brother yeah, Yellow Springs isn't really a, a big town. Very, very small town. Um, oh yeah, I was going to see if Chappelle's Club was open. I don't feel like going back now. I mean, it's literally like right there. But I don't feel like driving back down there again. There's a, I mean, I want to say there's a lot to do here. There kind of is and there kind of isn't. Like, there's a lot to do there if you've never been to Yellow Springs. If you've been to Yellow Springs and you've been there done that, there's kind of nothing new, but you can still like walk around. There's like a bunch of little local shops. Is this dude really doing like 20 miles an hour on a 45? Um, yeah, I mean, there's like a whole bunch of little local shops all over the place and it's, you know, you know little small restaurants and it's, it's a cool place for sure. But 
you know, I grew up in this area, so we went to Yellow Springs a lot. So, I have been there, done that. And there hasn't been much really change in Yellow Springs in the last like 25, 30 years. Because if I'm saying 25 to 30 years ago, I don't remember that. I wake you with a baby. The John Bryan State Park is cool. I had a video driving around there in the fall where all the leaves had changed colors. It was really, really nice looking back in there in the fall time. I remember when I was uh, you know, I don't know, a teenager, early 20s. Well, I guess my early 20s, we moved away. But uh, when I was a teenager, we used to come back here to like John Bryan State Park and uh, walk around in the little on, on the creek river thing. I guess there's a creek. It's definitely not a river. But uh, we used to walk around the little creek area down there and you know they have you know like a bunch of paths and stairways that lead to it. It's not like we were down there when we weren't supposed to be. Um, you know so me and my wife would go down there when we were teenagers. We were like 19 probably you know 20. 1920 we used to go down there and uh, walk around and it was really cool but one time we were down there and there was some sort of federal agents walking around down there like they had the badges on they were dressed up in suits they had guns on their hips uh, there was a woman that had a gun under the the how was it like the the chest strap or whatever it's called you know where it's kind of like hanging on the side of your ribs she had one of those because i remember the wind blowing and it kind of blew her suit jacket open a little bit and i saw the gun like on her uh ribs there hanging out and then the guys had them on their hips like tucked into their pants which you could clearly see because they weren't wearing their jackets they were carrying their jackets because it was a little warm yeah, it was, I don't know what was going on. I don't know if there was like a murder or something. Something crazy happened. Never found out. Uh, you know, Google wasn't as reliable back then. I mean, it was still reliable, but you know, you couldn't find exactly what you were looking for right off the, like right off the bat like you can now. You know, this is back in probably 2011, 2012. So, yeah, I, I still don't know what was going on. Or maybe they're like, you know, maybe they work around here or something like that or, or you know, something. And uh, they were just like on break and they're like, let's go walk around this park. It's really nice. Who knows? That could have very well been what it is, but highly unlikely because, you know, you know I would assume a federal agent is not going to be walking around a park because it's a nice day. I got hit by a big old bug. They flew into me, hit me in the shoulder. And I just got hit by another one in the helmet. Uh, yeah, that's a that's another great reason to wear gear is you're gonna get hit by bugs, and bugs hurt. You know, the only downside to the cruise is like when you go to like change the speed by hitting the button, it doesn't just like change. Then you gotta hold it. I don't know. It'll it'll change if you hit it a million times. Somebody at the school has a motorcycle. We had like one kid at our school that had a motorcycle. Um, and it was a sports bike. So I think it was a Jixer. Uh, and everyone thought that was like the coolest thing. That he would just like cruise up. And, you know, this was back in like 2008, 2009. So, you know, he had like the lights all in the fairings that everyone back then thought was cool. That's not actually cool anymore. But it was cool back then. Now it's not cool. Don't do that. Looks terrible. But anyway, uh, yeah, anyway, anything else? I well, just got a little random, random stuff, and random talking stuff. I mean, I guess that's what I do anyway. I just talk about random crap that nobody cares about. Uh, yeah, anyway, can't love you. Bye-bye.